My name is John Crawford. I'm here from the Woodland Trust. I'm a conservation evidence officer. Uh, and I'm really excited to be sharing some news about the, the exciting research collaboration that we've started uh, with teams from the University of Leeds and the University of York. Uh, these are a fantastic team of world-class researchers that are helping us understand the impacts of our uh, habitat restoration and woodland creation project here at Snay's Home, helping us understand the impacts on, on water quality and water flows, mitigating some of the risks around uh, flood events that we'll see from increased storms, as well as understanding some of the impacts on soils, how carbon and nutrients are stored and cycled in the system. Uh, this is a really unique opportunity for the Woodland Trust to get involved into the cutting edge research um, and help, help us understand the impact of the work that we're doing. So I'm Rob Mills, I'm a lecturer at the University of York and I'm principally interested in soil ecology so all the organisms that live in the soil. And when we plant the trees out here on the landscape, we're expecting that the system's gonna change in terms of what goes on below ground. And crucially, we don't have a good understanding of the organisms that currently live in the system and how that might change. But what we're expecting is that when we change the plant material that's coming in and the roots and the rooting depth that's growing into the soil, we might see changes to organic matter cycling and nutrient cycling, but also the way the soil organisms change the structure of the soil. Yeah, so we already know over the last few decades here there's been already an increase in storm events and the intensity of those storm events over the last few decades and we're expecting over the next 30 or 40 years about a 20 to 50 percent increase in uh, the intensity of winter storms uh, in this area and so that's going to make you know the changes that we're seeing here even more important um, in terms of trying to reduce that downstream flood risk. Hi, I'm Alec Pugh, uh, Site Manager here at Snay's Home for the Woodland Trust. Uh, so I'm overseeing all the habitat restoration work that we have underway here. So that includes woodland creation, it includes um, peatland restoration, limestone uh, pavement sort of restoration, riverside meadow work, so a whole mosaic of habitats that we do have here um, that we're looking to restore here. Yeah, and we're here today with, with the researchers from Leeds, York and uh, some Woodland Trust staff here. Um, and yeah, it's really exciting to have them here and work, working with them on this, on this project. Um, especially for me as a site manager here to, to see what our actions are here. So the interventions that we do put into place to understand well, yeah, what, what the results of our actions are and then help, help guide and shape our management going forward. The project here is funded through the Trees of Climate and the White Rose Forest. That funding is also supporting the research that we're here looking at today and making a start on today. So as well as, uh, for me, understanding what, what we're doing on the, on the site at Snay's Home and how the research ties in with that and guides our management, it's also really exciting to, to understand what Snay's Home can be for the wider landscape. So the research that's happening here and the results that we get from that research could hopefully help sort of shape other land use elsewhere. Right, we have to play a game now. <laughs> Guess the temperature of the air. So I'm Robin Wrigley and I'm a research assistant working at the University of Leeds. Um, and so part of what I do is working on the monitoring on this, on the whole Snay's Home project. And uh, one really exciting thing about this project is the scale that it's on. It's on a much bigger scale um, as a restoration point of view from what has been done before. Um, and so it's kind of, it's presenting its own challenges in, in trying to kind of work out and figure out how best for us to to monitor that and and really capture the changes that are gonna gonna happen with with tree planting and and the effect of all of that on every part of the system that is in this landscape uh, i've been working on landscape restoration for the past year i've gone into my second year and really this is a really exciting site to start kind of looking into this because i just don't think people realize how little data there is from the beginning of planting as trees grow, a lot of our data is kind of been based off of kind of this time for space approach where you look at what a mature woodland's like, you look at what a planted woodland's like, you look at what a control of what it might have been is like. So we really don't know this kind of change over time and what's happening. So it's really exciting to have this massive site. It's one of the biggest reforestation sites in the whole of England. 
and you've got so many different like things that you can start looking into. So when you're kind of starting to kind of try to think about what's going to happen here and how the niches are going to develop and how different habitats and vegetation is going to respond when it's planted here, what's going to survive, what's going to thrive, how that the roots are going to affect the soil is really, really interesting. And I think it's just a really cool site and it's going to be going for 50 years or so, hopefully. So we're going to keep researching here. So yeah, we'll have to see what happens. <laughs>